Um, hopefully, we can be articulate enough, or I could be articulate enough, I don't really give two shits about you in this context, uh, to convince the powers that be to send us, or me, just even just me, to Brazil. Uh, um, <laughs> four, and, four and five, bro. Four, four and, and five. five. That's no, we got both of them. So the, so the matchup is set. It is Packers Eagles uh, in Brazil. Um, closest I've ever been to Brazil was Street Fighter Two, when I picked Blanca. <laughs> okay, I've always wanted to go to Brazil. I, I really would love to experience this. Um, so, what, what's our sales pitch? What, how do what, what do we? You know, you're the author. You know, you're the, you're the New York Times bestseller. We need to craft a. I will. Okay, maybe I will bring you in on this. You know, okay, we need to craft. Yeah, yeah. A, yeah, we need to craft a sales pitch to get to Brazil to see Jordan Love's Packers against Jalen Hurts' Eagles. That's a great matchup. Great matchup. First, two young you, yeah. franchise quarterbacks, two story franchises, uh, a wide receiver core in Green Bay that you know nothing about, but you will learn soon enough. Yeah, you know what? Maybe for research purposes. Maybe you should go down to Brazil to see what I'm talking there about when go. I say that the Packers I'll take that. Whatever have the it best takes. young wide receiver core in the NFL. Maybe that's part of your sales pitch. You want to go and that, explore. That is part of it. There's the deepest young receiver room in the league. See what Jordan Love, get to know Jordan Love, Jalen Hurts, see how he immerses himself in the culture of Brazil. Yeah, I, that sounds like a good pitch, right? They could so afford I, I, I would say that. One yeah, us, I need to go. I need to go to learn the game and learn the culture. Uh, I'm, I'm all about it uh, in Brazil. And in the game on Peacock, this is a Peacock game. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay, so yeah. game's on Peacock. Uh, we're here. You, you, I would do uh, five watching. shows that week. We're, yeah, right. We appreciate you. We appreciate you watching on Peacock I do, I TV. Do five, you have five I do shows. All the, I do five that shows that you? week. Live tape, whatever you want. You know, whatever that you might want. be the pitch too. That might be it. Or, or simply this: It's never happened before. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the NFL in Brazil? I really can't. So I'm looking forward to, uh, I'm looking forward to a Friday night NFL game. One. Uh, a Friday night NFL game in Brazil. That culture uh, knows football, just not American football. So yeah. I, I, I just want to see how it plays out. Two good opponents in September. Uh, I, I think it's just going to be festive. And it really speaks to, i got to give him credit, it speaks to, uh, we're almost getting close to the culmination of Roger Goodell's financial vision. Now, he's made plenty of mistakes. Uh, as the leader of the NFL, as the, as the spokesperson, a highly paid spokesperson uh, for the NFL. But his financial vision when he took over in 2006 was to take a, with, with, uh, with all apologies to uh, Jim Collins, uh, all, to take the NFL from good to great. And he did. He has. So we got Germany, we got Mexico, we got Brazil, obviously uh, England. There's going to be more. That it, we've got streaming, we've got Peacock and Amazon, and just the, the financial pie has grown exponentially. Stadium value, uh, well, not stadiums, but uh, franchise values have soared. So this is really, we're, we're climbing, we're probably two days away from being atop the mountain for you climbers out there. And so mm. I just like to see it. I just like to see so this, part of the, this part of the journey. So I'm gonna need you to stop talking because that was so articulate until they may end up sending you instead of me, which is not mm. the idea. Uh, if you start, uh, <laughs> if you start contextualizing things, that was almost like an essay uh, in real time. I'm just so excited about the Packers. Honestly, Eagles, they're, they're always gonna be in, in the mix in the conversation. I'm so excited about the direction the Green Bay Packers and their non first round wide receivers are going, but I'm not gonna bring up old stuff. Here we go. Uh, go we'll, we'll bring it up uh, another day. Hey, thank you for watching Brother from Another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.